Wow. Hang on, buddy. My morning view. Maple started right up this morning. We got a mover down to their parking lot because it's going to be a late checkout. We're going to take the van out to Messe Verde. We're going to Messe Verde, guys. The cliff dwelling. About Messi Verde. I'm not really 100% sure, but when I came here as a kid, I just like, I don't know, I just really, really loved it. And I was like, I'm coming back here as an adult. Like, I'm for sure coming back here. I don't know, it's something about like these people who made a home here and like lived here, but then like it's so much mystery surrounding it. I don't know, it's so interesting. And it was like, wasn't it in the 1100s? Yeah. They think that this, so, like, almost a thousand years ago. I don't know, it's just something so neat about somebody having made this place their home and now we can go and look at it. I don't know, it's kind of weird in a way that that interests me. But, I guess I love history, so maybe that's why. Maybe I should have been an archaeologist. <laughs> Mom's enjoying herself, taking her time. The journey is the destination. Cliff Palace, guys. It's tiny. So we're here, guys. Check out this view. It's not just the cliff dwellings. Look at this scenery. Look. Yeah. Oh, look, there's people down there. What did you first think when you saw these? Crazy. It was kind of weird. Just say, what do you think when you look upon those houses? I think it was crazy. Do you think you could live in those houses? Yes. Do you think you would love it or hate it? Love it. I think they would have been a very healthy people. Working all day, eating naturally, hunting, gathering, gardening. Yeah. Do you guys see how hard it would have been to create of that house, those housing dwellings over there. Like how would they have gotten there? No rails, no steps. There's no, there's none of this here. So like, they were coming from the junior. You guys ready to go on to our next stage? You want to go in one of those? Yeah. You want to get inside one of those? Yes. Climb ladders, yes. go through tunnels? Yes. Oh boy. Act like you're a Pueblo Native American? That's what I would like to be doing. If I'm a poor friend, yeah. I think it's over there. Oh, we gotta wait Stay. for our tour guide. Stay right there. What Stay. do you expect to get out of this? Oh, I think you just what? something. What? Something what? Cool. You want to get something cool out of it? Don't die. Are you gonna get scared? No. Yeah. Are you gonna have fun? I'm scared. What about the 60 foot ladder? No. Is it really a 60 foot ladder? Come on, Mama. You guys, do you guys know how how tall sixty feet is? No. I thought you've done this before. No. Oh. Well, I don't well if know. you don't want to do it, you don't have to. You can stay behind. Well, my name is Ranger Pete, and on behalf of the National Park Service and the people of the United States of America, I'd like to welcome you to the first tour of the day here at Balcony House. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is our physically most demanding tour. And then we're going to start our descent. We'll go down a little path and then we're going to hit a series of staircases. Now these are metal staircases. 
and they're very old, you're going to notice that the edges of the stairs are real shiny. That means that they're real slippery, okay? So watch yourself as you go down. There are rails on the sides of the stairs. Hold on to those as you go down. I'm so nervous. 60 <laughs> feet is a lot in a ladder. Where do you get this idea that there's a 60 foot ladder? Didn't he say that? I don't know. I might be crazy. When we get to the bottom of the stairs, we'll walk along a path along the, the uh, canyon. Now we'll be in the sun uh, until we get into the site. So, you know, if you're really fair, I hope you've all sunscreened up, okay? And then we have to climb that ladder. That ladder is 32 foot high. It's 10 meters high and everybody will have to, uh, to climb it themselves. Unless you have a backpack, uh, everybody's gonna use their own hands and their own feet to climb that ladder. I think he's scared. a little nervous. All right. Look at that ladder, guys. Yeah. I'm not scared. But I have Pretty to much life. straight up. I can do it. I yep. can do it. It right. won't be too bad. That's I'm right. Gonna be yeah, you're just going to look that wrong right there and See, pick the next one. And I was imagining like a 60 foot like comb ladder. You know, oh, like yeah. those like metal ones that yeah, are like, yeah. this, one's a little, <laughs> this one's a little sturdier looking, it looks yes, like. This one may be a little nervous. Are you nervous, are you nervous Josiah? Really? Oh, you yeah. are. That's it's okay. okay. We're gonna watch you, so you won't have any people climb in it. Okay, I'll follow. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. You're going right up, buddy. Oh, Take it oh, easy. Man. Take it easy. Remember, you only climb up. Once you start climbing that ladder, you will climb that ladder all the way to the top. It's like Caesar said when he crossed the Rubicon. There's no going back. The die is cast, right? You got this? <laughs> you, you slow down if you need help, okay? Y'all kind of spot her when you come up? Yeah, I will. No problem. Hi. You feel comfortable holding it? I got it. You can shoot us. It's on. I got it. Thanks. Sure. I don't know. Now, when we get to the top of the ladder, I'm going to push you through a little crevasse. There'll be another four step ladder, and we'll enter the second uh, plaza. No, when we leave. Here, and I let you come hold this. Hold that. Shoot me coming out. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. Oh, uh, yes. Was that nervous? I got to the, about midway point. I was like, oh, why did I say I would do this? Papa, come here. Don't drop your camera in that hole. A hole in there. How's it feel climbing that ladder? <laughs> Good. Were you nervous? Yeah, I was. How am I? I know. I'm still shaking. I think mom was. This side was their food pantry. You don't see any soot from them burning any fire, so they likely stored their food in this area. get done with that we're going to go over into the third plaza which is a little bit more dangerous because we'll be standing around a kiva now kivas were rooms they used to have roofs on them but they don't anymore so it's a 15 foot drop from the edge of the kiva to a stone floor below so parents keep a really close eye on your kids around the kivas During the talk, the ranger thanked Rebecca for bringing the kids to the national parks because he's been a school teacher and he's always, he could always tell when kids had gotten outside their neighborhood, they have a bigger world view and it creates a curiosity for life. They realize that the world is bigger than where they're at. Mm. So they're lifelong learners at that point. How big's your world, Josiah? Uh, really big. <laughs> How, just how big is the world, Lily? Huge. Bigger than the moon. <laughs> the world is yours. It's bigger than the moon. And then it's time to leave. That's the second part of the adventure because we have to go through a tunnel. Now the tunnel is 12 feet long. The first uh, three feet are uh, to get in there is uh, 18 inches wide by 24 inches high. 
The middle six feet we can all stand up in. It's big in here. Interesting. Yeah. What in the world? That's where it was lacking. What in the world? And then the final three feet are like the first three feet. Okay, let's just go off here. Get, get, get. I'm going to push you right up a 15 foot ladder. That ladder will terminate at a series of stone steps that were carved diagonally along a cliff face. They were done in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps, and this is way free OSHA. Which means. <laughs> this is short one. You got this, Mom. There we go. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, wow, yeah. Stay on this side and grab the fence here. It'll help you. Okay, let me get it. Oh, wow, that's This is my much time Fall. Uh, this is way too easy. Way too easy. No, it's too easy. Ah, I want to get out. Good job. Turn on, Mr. Brown. Wow. Hang on, buddy. Just wait. Thanks. That's just crazy. Nothing else. And guess what? They didn't have the chains here. Hey, stop. Who's coming up near my hands? Just uh, slow down. Of the, five, five, the uh, five, five, stairs, five. there'll be a little landing area again with the chain railing in front of it. You're going to be so pumped, full of adrenaline, and so happy that you're still alive. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you did great. See, no fear. <laughs> yeah, I'm like shaking. <laughs> you had fear, but you're courageous. How did it make you feel climbing those ladders? Me scared. Yeah. What was the worst part? I think those um, horrible stairs. Yeah. <laughs> if you could call them stairs. Like, and just like the the slope and then the kids. Oh, yeah. You all right? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm just sitting down. Got it. I was one of the few, first people up. I'm glad I didn't know what I was getting into. Did everybody have fun? Yeah, I think that was one of the terrifying cool things we did. ending. Yeah. <laughs> we got a long way to drive today. We're gonna drive to Arches. Yeah, we're gonna drive to Arches, shut down the vlog here. Tomorrow, Arches, Utah. Another amazing national, national park. park. We're in national park country now, babe. I know man, it's awesome. Mom was scary cat on that. That was so scary at the end. So like I thought like the ladder, I don't know, I guess I didn't realize like where it went and then we like got to the top and it was like this big and Lily is like in front of me and I'm thinking I'm so scared like I'm so afraid what am I going to do if she falls and then it was like this. I think that that's what was scary is because it was like if she fell backwards like there's nothing going to hold her. So yeah. Everything turned out okay though. It always does. Let's go to Arches. Be sure to check out our sand dunes vlog. Thought it was the world's tallest sand dune, but it's North America's tallest. Yeah. But still, it's great. Check it out there. See you guys tomorrow.